Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would like to welcome you. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back again. I am out in the garden and I'm on the patio garden. Um, I come outside and I run out to the big garden. And I bypass the patio garden. I have got to, um, I got to show it some attention. I, I got some stuff I need to do. Uh, under that is broccoli, kale. That's it, broccoli and kale. And I have some broccoli heads in there that needs um, probably harvesting. I don't know, but I'm going to look. So, and... I'll need to fertilize because I have not put any fish emulsion on them since uh, it's probably been about three weeks now. So I'm going to do that now. This is the kale plant that um, this is the kale plant that had uh, been eaten up pretty bad, and I pulled all the leaves off of it that had been eaten and it is coming back real good this is the blue dazzling uh kale or dazzling blue it it's blue down through here i guess they consider that blue it's like purple looking to me but uh it's called the dazzling blue so i am happy about that so i'm going to take this tool off of this i think it's um I don't forget how many grow bags is it is under here. It's uh, 10 to 12 grow bags under that. 7 and 10 gallon grow bags under there. So I'm going to pull the tool back and I'm going to get to harvesting, hopefully. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I just pulled the tool back just a little bit and everything under here looks wonderful um, like I said is it, it is uh, kale and broccoli that is under here this here is uh, red ursa kale and this is the lacinato kale and it's a big big onion growing out of here and it is going to seed <laughs> let me see it may be a garlic and that look like a skate I don't know because these blades they're flat so I believe this is a garlic that has grown out of this bag <laughs> this is a um, white Vienna kohlrabi and it is about the only thing that survived my winter sowing so I've never grown the white one before I've grown the purple and uh, this one looks really good and um, I'm wondering if I should harvest it I think I might go ahead and harvest it because I don't want it to get woody. But uh, I sowed seed on January 5th and I winter sowed it. So, But that is a broccoli, no head yet. That's a broccoli. And I don't think there is a head in that. Nope. And that's a broccoli. No head. That's a broccoli. There is a head. And it's got little shoots on the side. <laughs> so I've 
the Imperial usually have a nice little head. I don't know. But uh, that's one. There's no head yet. Um, this is one. And there's a little head. And that's one with a little head. And then that's one and there's no head but uh, I may end up taking some of these leaves because they'll cook real good with the kale that I harvest but I'm gonna go ahead and get started because uh, once I finish harvesting I'm going to uh, put some fish emulsion on them because it's been it's time so I'll be right back okay so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this kale and um, this is the red ursa kale oh it's two plants in here okay so these look really good I love harvest, <laughs> harvesting food because this is what you're working so hard for. It is oh birds? I hate for them fly over me because don't know where some gonna drop at them. But anyway, I just love harvesting I mean I don't know of a store that I can get some of this from around here and if I do find it I bet they don't put something on it and it don't taste as good It's a beautiful leaf. It is so nice. So this had been covered with tool for a while and um, it doesn't have as much damage to it as the other stuff the other one the other plants that I had covered with um, the shade cloth I'm just gonna take these dead leaves off and put them into the compost And so that's all that I'm going to take of the red ursa. So I'm going to move over to the lasonado. It's shaded pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, harvest it. It's got a little bit of damage, but it ain't that bad. These I'm going to put into, they look like snail damage. That too. I'm just going to see if I can just I've always found that I do better when I use my shears 
and um because i break stuff too easy that one looks so nice Ooh. they need to go in the pot Now I had, I think that little plant over there that the bugs ate it so bad, it was a lacinato because I know I had more than one plant of this and uh, it's only one in here. I was thinking that was it, but that's the kohlrabi. So, and I'm just going to leave these, I'm going to get that one. And then I'm going to leave the rest of them. So I'm going to move over in here. There are some bad broccoli leaves that I want to take out and put it into our compost. I have a mint plant that's sitting on the ground. And um, I just want to uh, protect these. Well, I just, for Mr. No Shoulders. So that he don't crawl in here and hide out and make this his home under here. And I mean, he could do anything he wants to, go any place he wants to go. But I'm just trying to protect this little area for me, for my mind, my peace, and my mind. <laughs> but some of these broccoli leaves, I think I'm going to go ahead and take some of those. Oh, all these look so good. These look so good. And, um, then I'll have to give these some 511. Look how big and pretty those are. Beautiful. I uh, probably don't want to keep this off too long so that white moth don't find her way under here. These little broccoli heads, I think I'm going to just leave them now. And let them get just a little bigger. So I'm going to cut some more off. I'll be right back. Okay, you all, so this is my harvest. <laughs> Got me a scape, a garlic scape. So that was a garlic growing out of one of the broccoli plant uh, bags, grow bags. But uh, this is two kinds of kale. This is the lacinato uh, kale. And this is the red ursa kale. And these are so good, you all. They are so good. And um, it took me a while to start liking kale because it was, uh, I don't know. I like collard greens, but I wasn't real big on kale. But I like kale now. And this one, yeah, I think is my favorite, the red ursa kale. And then on this side are 
um, broccoli leaves. These are just a bunch of broccoli leaves and um, the um, the kohlrabi. Look how pretty this is so green it's almost blue so <laughs> but I'm gonna put some uh, fish emulsion on these and then on the plants that I have left and um, then I'll cover this back up so I'm gonna let you see what I have left so that is what I have left and um, I'll just come back out here and the day is ahead and uh, check on check on these uh, little broccoli heads that we have got one I know right there and then it's one there and then it's just one more on the other side so I'm going to get busy and put some fish emulsion on these and then uh, cover this back up before somebody comes and see that they are here. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this uh, covered over again and um, it's locked down. So I gave it all some uh, fish emulsion and everything looks really good under there. So I don't, I don't think much is going on. I mean, you're going to always have some um, pest damage, just a little bit, but um, and that's normal. But um, I don't think any eggs had been laid in there. Everything looks good under there. And so I will, um, I have some other plants around here that needs fertilizing. And so I'm going to uh, use more of the fish emulsion on them. And then uh, I'll be done. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And then hit the subscribe button if you have not already. And then hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload content. So you all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.